It's the year of Luigi all over again! And I'm realizing that was 10 years ago, and I feel super old now. Anyway, hello everybody, here to you, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Odyssey! Huh? What? Another me? No, wait, is that you, bro? Whoa, you already threw me for a loop there! So as I mentioned before, Luigi will have different comments, so depending on the costumes you'll be wearing. There aren't a whole lot of them left, but I definitely do want to demonstrate them as the time goes on. But in today's video for Super Mario Odyssey, we'll be taking care of a series of paintings that are going to be pretty interesting because they require paintings. You may notice a few of them here and there throughout our journey, but now that we're in the post game, everything is magical! Woo! Everything is Batman! Everything is cool when you're Batman! Everything is Batman! Because I'm Batman! Yeah. I know why I'm seeing that in the Mario video. <laughs> So something we're going to be noticing in the comments or description or whatever the thing is on the YouTube thing. So rather than listing the names of the power moons in this video, we're actually going to be listing the where the kingdom, the painting is found in. Because you may notice you're playing alongside this that the paintings these will take you to, the worlds these will take you to, when you go to the paintings and things like that, they're not prob they're probably not going to match up one to one with what you're playing on your game. So for example, this first power moon we'll be collecting, it could either be found by using the painting in the Snow Kingdom or the Seaside Kingdom. I believe what determines this is whenever there's a, a fork in the path in the main game, depending on which way you go, that'll change where this painting will take you in the post game. Now we're in the Fossil Kingdom, Cascade Falls, Fossil Kingdom, Falls, Cascade, Kingdom, Kingdom, Fossil, this place, yeah. <laughs> so this is one of my favorite things about the secret paintings, not just because it's a really cool um, 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 reference to Super Mario 64. I almost called it a payback to Mario 64 and I was like, what does Mario Odyssey have against 64? But um, it's like a really nice uh, homage to Mario 64 and how you're jumping on paintings throughout that game. It's a really cool reference and I just love that so much. But I just also really love the idea that you'll see these paintings throughout the world and you're wondering, okay, what am I supposed to do with this? Like this one right here is probably one of the cooler ones where we see that cage, we don't know what to do with it, but there's a painting in there. So it's like, okay, this is obviously something that's going to be important later, but what am I supposed to do with it? But then later on in the game, you're like, oh, this is why it's important. And now we're in the Sand Kingdom. And you'll see things like this, where if you looked up in the sky during the main story, there's like this random island right here, and you have no idea how you're supposed to get to it. This is how you get to that. And seeing the fact that we missed that checkpoint flag is hurting my soul. We're going to get it off screen eventually. But if you're going for 100% completion, definitely try to make it a point to open up all the checkpoint flags. It's going to save you a headache later, just trust me on that. We didn't really talk about this before in the main Let's Play or anything. We probably will talk about it again when we start focusing more on Lake Kingdoms post-game moons. But the name of this place, Lake Lamode, I love it so much. I love this name. I don't know if this was intentional. I think it was, but... I think it's a reference to the song The Bonnie Banks of Lake Lamode, which if you've never heard that song before, stop this video and go listen to it right now. It is a beautiful song. It is like, it's easily one of my favorite songs I'm listening to whenever I'm working on programming my game, because, like without being too specific, that song just really fits the theme of the game's like seaside area and things like that. Kind of fitting that we're talking about that in the middle of Seaside Kingdom, but it's just one of my favorite songs to listen to whenever I'm working on programming things, so it's it's such a beautiful song. But now we're inside the Steam Gardens, which is false advertising because this game isn't on Steam. It probably never will be, but it would be funny if it was. Like, it would be funny if eventually Nintendo did start releasing games on Steam, because Microsoft and Sony have done it. Like, Microsoft released the Halo series on there. I think Horizon and uh, God of War are on Steam as well. So it'd be interesting to see if Nintendo games ever become available. 
If they do, I highly doubt it'll be anything like Mario or Zelda. I think they just do like a one weird experiment and then never do it again. Because that's usually what they seem to do. Like I could see them till they doing something like Amitamo. Uh, that one mobile app game that they made years back. Trying to do something like that with the mobile, with the Steam game. And then never do anything with it again ever again. But on the flip side of that, I could also see them doing like a Mario Kart game on Steam. I don't think they'll ever will, but I think that'd be pretty interesting. Like, actually, that would be very interesting. Can you imagine, like, a giant MMO for Mario Kart? <laughs> it's never going to happen, but... Man, like, an official Mario Kart game that can have, like, 50-plus races or something like that. That'd actually be really funny. And this one was kind of a pain in the patootie to find. So, my notes said that it was in the main entrance area, but it didn't say where. I think I assumed that it was because it was a pretty simplistic area to look for. I didn't really need to be more specific than that. Jokes on you, pass Lady Gary to you. It took me 10 minutes to find that one. Which isn't a lot, but still, it was it was a mild inconvenience. So I'm going to complain about it. And there's a rainbow in the background. I never noticed that before. But this is still like one of the more beautiful sights in the game. Like, I really like the, the secret paths that they'll take you to places that have like really pretty sights and things like that. It's so cool. And I gotta say, on a bit of a fun history lesson kind of side, well, not really history lesson, but a kind of a fun behind the scenes perspective on this video. So, editing this video together and then doing post commentary over it, like as a giant montage and things like that, it's given me giant flashbacks of working on the post game for Super Mario Galaxy 2. Because, not going into spoilers or anything like that for how that game's a post game works, it's a very similar to how we we're doing this one where. There's like a bunch of collectibles in the post game that we're collecting, and then in editing, I'm compiling them all into a montage and doing post commentary over it. I don't think we'll do this for every single kingdom in the game or anything like that. This is just kind of a special case where I didn't really have that much to say over speaking in post in live commentary. But that painting right there, a bit of a fun fact, that was the first one that I found in my regular playthrough of this game. Like I came across that painting, I was like, wait, are we to be jumping in and out of paintings in this game? Oh man, this is so cool! But then we never did in the main story and I forgot about it until the post game. And this one was another pain in the butt to find because my notes were completely wrong about this one. It said that it was in the area with the town and stuff like that, but no, it's in this one. So I don't know what I was thinking when I was writing this note for this. But probably, by far, the coolest secret path painting. Yoshi's House. So, it has everything. It looks like it did in Mario World. And then the sign... Hello, sorry I'm not at home. But I am going to Peach Castle. Yoshi! I just love this so much. Like, it has the chimney and it's so cute and things like that. It makes me think of Super Mario World with Yoshi's house in that game too. Oh, it's so good! I love it so much! This game is awesome! But I'm taking care of all that. We're in this video off here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video for Super Mario Odyssey. In the next video, we're going to be going through all the kingdoms yet again to take care of uh, something else that's related to paintings and stuff like that. It'll make sense. Actually, no, it's not paintings. It's hidden artwork and things like that. It'll make sense in the video. Next time, let's gear to you. Oh, yeah.